Hello and welcome back to Terra Farmcraft Season 1, Episode 4. Just starting today. I put a little bit of uh, a ground here. And put the stuff here covering that hole that I fell in. Luckily I have more. Not exactly afraid of this. I don't like them though. <laughs> Cause they will really oh I guess they wouldn't really murder me as quickly right now. That's just because I haven't uh or it's day. <laughs> okay, I wanna make a couple more of these. Because these are actually going to be my primary uh, metal smelting ones. I need more wood, however. Luckily, I had, do have extra. I luckily stocked up quite a bit on... Uh... Okay, that's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to access this. And I believe it's just any log can be used here. Yep. That's good. There. Now, I'm actually going to storm my logs out here. Because this, in a sense, is just going to be my, uh, in a sense, a storage shed. I'm actually going to extend it slightly at the cost of having to chop these uh, trees up. And yes, it takes a lot longer because I wasn't expecting to have to chop these up. I was personally just going to let this thing uh, wear out and wasn't going to use it again, but I decided it's still useful. So. And these come with me. I'm just gonna pop this stuff. Ooh. About here should be fine. And that's just to keep a stock of wood. You know, I need to change that. Because it's not so much as an issue for me right now, so video settings, animations. I don't know why they're all turned off. I don't think I turned them all off, so. Because hm. I don't usually have uh, lag issues with animations. Because, funny enough, those just require CPU, and CPU is not an issue with this. I actually haven't even. Oh, okay, I have broken 70. Oh, 70% 70 CPU. And that's only in certain parts, but still. It's barely anything there. I'd be, I'm actually surprised that it uh, doesn't use that much CPU with the amount of lag I get for some reason. Let's see, anything in there? It doesn't look like it. It's usually, uh, memory seems to be my main issue. It's always the memory. So, I'm thinking about, uh, upgrading to 16 gigs of memory, just because it's obvious that the amount of memory I have right now is not enough. I'm just filling this stuff in. I'm trying to get as much, uh, hay as possible, or straw, or whatever it is. Okay. Next is the annoying part is I have to find certain metals and I still have yet to find them. 
So I'm going to let that cook for, uh, cook for now, and I'm going to go over here, where I know there was some metals. As well as I can actually refill my jug, and yes, it is only a one-time use thing, but it restores half of the water bar, which is pretty good. I'm not going to lie, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I've decided to start using thatching when I find these things, just because it's plenty, uh, it's plentiful. Let's see, any of this, oh, that is grown. I'm trying to get the fully grown stuff that way, when I do have it, I can get some of this grain stuff, and grain's useful later on. I'm surprised I haven't found it, uh, seen any decay on it. Not sure if uh, that stuff has decay. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be showing it, so I'm not sure. I'm thinking probably in the hills there's resources. I'm still tempted to murder that pig. <laughs> I am really tempted. Uh, deciding to move over here, see if I can find anything else. Still these bushes. Um, they don't seem to be ready yet. There's also a fruit tree. And I don't know which fruit tree it is. I think it's. Pr I think there's one that's an apple tree. And I'm not sure if it is, but it seems to have those pinkish flowers, which usually indicates that it's something like that. I don't know. I thought these were more oats. Train generation. It's probably about time for me to refresh my client anyway, so I might just, I might just go do that. Instant starting lag. Uh, so, see you in a minute. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, just restarted. And I moved over here and almost forgot to restart my recording. Still a little laggy from generating terrain, especially with these large trees. And that's a lot of Endermen. That's... I'm not going to lie, that's actually quite a few of them. And... That is something I might want to take a look at. Uh, Ginyrite? I don't even... I don't remember what that is. Toss that there. You know, I actually want to see if I can take one of these. I'm gonna... Oh! Did that just work? Wintergreen bush. Okay. Now I need to see if I can actually plant these. Okay, yeah. Can I just pick them up without... Okay, yeah. Good. I'm going to definitely take these because... Bushes are, again, one of the most useful things available, aside from fruit trees. Fruit trees are very, very, very useful. And I cannot explain how useful fr uh, fruit trees are, because they produce a lot of fruit. Especially with this 360 day uh, year, they produce enough to last through the winter, and a little extra. <laughs> Though with this decay rate, ooh, this is wheat. Um, yeah. Again, I'm still mostly getting grains. What I'm finding, and that's not too good for me. Uh, that stuff's too far for me to even uh, bother going all the way to it. Ooh, I still get it. Okay, that that's actually good to know. 
In fact, that's really good to know because I have a really good idea of what I want now. I am going to go gather the rest of those oats because if I can just do that and toss this all together. And I know it's getting dark. I'm not too worried right now. As I have full water and an extra, or not full water, but I have water jugs. Wow. Okay, let's see. As you can see, I, I moved a little bit further than I usually would. And I died there, so... I'm not too worried about that. I think water depletes at three times the rate uh, of food when you're sprinting. At least that's what it, I think it used to be. So as long as I don't take a nasty fall, I should be fine. But those nasty falls are everywhere. Ooh. Okay. I think those uh, skeletons are supposed to basically be... found something. Ooh. This is bad. This is the use of the bush. They no longer see me. <laughs> well, they see me. They just don't see me. Moving just a little bit around allows me to basically escape them. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to make a few items that I know I'm going to need. Yeah, spiders actually have a lot of health. <laughs> 1800 compared to the skeletons, and not skeletons, the um, zombies, I think 900. And I could like literally push them away, and it doesn't, or they won't attack, so that's good. So yes, this is how to survive the first night, should you be trapped and uh, not be able to make a shelter quickly. So, I'll see you in, uh, after the night passes. And I can guarantee that I am 100% safe right now. I've done this multiple times. And it's always worth the road. Every one of my series. <laughs> so, see you next time. Uh, see ya soon. And welcome back. I actually killed the spider by using my little tree hunting uh, method. Which is actually quite simple. Just take a uh, a couple of javelins, since javelins pass through, uh... uh I guess these leaf blocks, and you can actually hunt spiders and pretty much any other mob, really. Just try not to stand too directly near them, otherwise that happens. And I demonstrate that purposefully. <laughs> Now, if you do it correctly, you can usually avoid uh, hitting yourself back. Uh, that's where bows actually are a little bit more helpful in killing things. Because I personally would prefer a bow over anything else. One of the reasons why I got string. But I can't make it just yet. I'm st still waiting for that... Uh, Whatchamacallit, uh, not, not the rain, but, uh, rain's fine too. Waiting for the stone, or ores. Speaking of which, I can actually go check my, uh, where is it? I'm a little far. 
Yeah. Went just a little too far. <laughs> uh, and I can also plant these bushes because bushes are actually very helpful because they produce uh, berries. And it's thundering something fierce outside. <laughs> so sorry if you hear just a bunch of random rumbling. That is not my stomach. That is outside. There we go. By the way, you can shift right click this stuff too. It doesn't really matter as much. I hear a zombie. I'm going to make, I'm going to try to make, this isn't guaranteed for me right now, some of this uh, considerate stuff. Er, I'm going to try to make some considerate and malachite into ingots. I'm hoping I can get away with putting two cassiterite and four or eight malachite and hopefully I'll get what I need. I know I could probably toss in uh, this eight and one of these bis uh, bismuthonite bismethonite, whatever it is, and it would be fine, but I'm going to try to use this stuff. I can toss this in and have native silver and something else. Right now, this one is my ore, and I need two. Hopefully this works. I cannot guarantee that it will work. Because I have not tested it as much. This is one of those mechanics that I haven't yet tested as much. So in a sense it's a little bit new to me, but I get what they're going at. Or I get what they're trying to say. Uh, now, main issue is it's raining. Rain puts out fire, making kiln uh, not so protective. By the way, this is the decay rate. Quickest way to remove decay rate is to send it through that, and it removes the decay. But it also removes a small amount of uh, material equal to the percentage of decay. Decay, if left unchecked, actually is uh, it's cumulative. So keeps uh, adding on to it and increasing the amount of decay caused, so it's good to catch it early. Since I can't yet use this stuff, I'm actually going to toss into one of these jars. And toss it there. This goes in here. I want to throw in some other stuff that can be smelted. He's in that underground area, I think. I don't see him. And I feel it's a waste if I just toss that all in without creating something else. And I'm going to create another jar or vessel because it's these are just really valuable and I need wood plenty of wood here except for I don't have that much Ugh. you know what no that's 
not what I wanted. I'm going to use two of these just because I need the wood and it's wood. Now I need something to cover this so I'm going to create some limestone bricks. Now limestone bricks or just any uh, cobblestone for that matter, it's not actually brick, will turn into a usable form. Now this does not move sideways, unlike dirt. I have quite a bit of dolomite, so I'm just going to use that. Okay didn't use the turns uh, sideways, but that just scared me quite badly. Uh, why isn't this working anymore? Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? You came from over here. Yet I don't see anything over here that you could have... Nope, you didn't come from here. I am primarily a javelin hunter. Because I don't like these things getting close to me. They do quite a bit of damage. I could just hit him with my uh, shovel, but I'm going to finish him with the jet <sighs> Let's see. Oh, this is probably where it came from. way to remove this threat. And done. Want to eliminate 100% of the threat, because spiders can climb, but it removes enough of the threat that I don't feel threatened. <laughs> That's all that matters, really. I wonder, does this stuff burn? I would expect it to be yeah, I expect it to burn, but not everything in Terraforma Craft makes sense, so... <sighs> okay, the issue here is, if this falls here, I literally have to bury it. <sighs> because I can't mine it. So everything here has to come out. Okay. It needs to come out, not uh, keep being put back in. This is why I don't like uh, dealing with cobblestone. It needs buried every time because I don't have a pickaxe. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait until I can actually cook this stuff. <laughs> Why not? It's gonna go out anyway, but it's two sticks. 
I can test and see if it works. Well, yeah. wait till day. See you in, uh, about a couple seconds. And I'm back. Just heard that chicken thing. Yeah. Squawk and it did it did seem like it uh worked, so I'm not gonna complain. Okay, I want there's a couple of things here. I can do that, that, grab that. Now this other one I'm supposed to be able to right click it and see that it has it didn't work, okay. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. I'm going to have to retry that because that was kind of an important thing. Uh yeah. Kind of disappointing. This time I'm going to actually use this one specifically because I'm just going to st uh, stock it full of uh, considerate and I'm going to just try to melt it then. In fact, actually I'm just going to quickly uh, look stuff up and see if I can figure out if I can make this. And if not, I'm just going to have to really start searching for more uh, considerate. Or not considerate. Basically copper materials. So I'll see you in just a second. Either I'm going to come back and I'm going to be able to start smelting this or I will come back when I have copper. Okay, I was actually recording for a bit, but uh, well, not really recording for a bit. I forgot that my computer crashed and my recording software was not on. So yeah. You just missed me putting, I think it was 15 malachite and I think one native copper, two cassiterite in here, and I made bronze. Now, I should be able to just toss that in and it'll produce one full saw mold. That's perfect. And then I have, what else? Yeah. One of these. Just fill that up. Ah, delicious. Perfectly shaped, unshaped liquid bronze metal. And now it's back to being a container. But I used all my copper for that. Specifically so I could just do this. Okay, that's... Should just be able to right click it or. Sh nope. Then I have to do this. Yeah. There we go. One bronze saw blade. I also chopped down a sequoia because I needed wood. And the best way to get wood is to use the sequoia tree. Even though they're a pain and I went through five axes, four or five axes, had to craft a. Uh, some stone heads, uh, stone axe heads. So now I have a bronze saw. In steps the age of bronze. Yada yada. I need. Okay, that's enough to get me what I need for this immediate uh, thing is. Craft that into sets of four and crafting table. Oh, that just upgrades my crafting. That's cool. That is actually really cool. I hope that stays with me. Oh. Okay, that's an issue. 
that's a bug because I was Yeah, Terraform Craft keeps resetting itself, like, every second or so, not a second or so, but every time I reset. And that's an issue, because that means my skills aren't doing anything, because they need to be quite a bit higher to actually start doing anything. <sighs> well, regardless, it doesn't matter. Because I have, I now have the most important thing, which is a couple of these, and I can make specific items, such as this, the wooden bucket, only allows you to carry water, but water is always a good thing. Next thing. I can make chests. Woohoo! And... What is it? I know I can craft it like that. And, er, hmm. Okay, maybe I can't do that. Not an issue for me. Let's see that into sequoia planks. I should be able to do this and it creates one sequoia barrel. I am now advancing quite rapidly into what I need. Actually, what time is it out there? 3 a.m. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything right now. But I can, however, I wonder if I can... St I don't think I can store these. Okay, that's not what I meant. Oh, I'm out of space. Junk. I wonder if I can store this stuff in a... Actually, I can just do this. Yeah. For now, I'll just keep that there, because... I can't do anything else about it. Now let's see if I can put a chest here. Okay, I can store that. Can I store one of these? I highly... Did. Oh! Okay, that's actually something of value because that means I can now store all of my ceramic vessels in here. You may not fully understand how useful this is, but uh, trust me, it's something incredible there. Oat grains, jute. Actually, I want to check this because. Ow. <laughs> decay. Yes, yeah, you can see that this has uh, just a little bit of decay on it. Basically, it decays regardless of being in an inventory or even an unloaded chunk. That is because it is. Uh, its decay rate is based on the item itself because it's registered to a specific time, even if you sleep through the night, it still will register completely. Uh, basically, when you sleep through the night, Terraform Craft has this habit of uh, skipping forward in time for anything that requires time, like decay and uh, decay, hunger, thirst. It's all about the same to it. There we go. I don't think I can put that away, but that's not much of an issue. I have something else I can do with that. Jugs of water. I probably want to keep that on me. 
Uh, got that one too. I know you can store knives and stuff in here. And while I'm at it. It may not be as big as the rest of the, or as big as normal chests would be, but it's still useful. You can also store all of these tool heads. <laughs> I'm actually surprised you can store that, but now that I think about it, it'd be kind of obvious to do that. You can store wood. You cannot store logs. Uh, you can't store most tools. Anything that is um, small can be stored. Large cannot fit. So I could toss that in there. But I don't want to. Nor do I want to keep that in there. Light is the amount it can stack, even though these can't technically stack. Medium usually means that it can only stack to 16. Whereas, I don't know why, but yeah, some of these things, they really don't, can't stack, but they're still labeled as small. Or medium, uh, these are labeled as medium. They can only stack to 4. Huh. Oh, regardless, they stack weird. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm in the Bronze Age. Or the beginning of the Bronze Age, technically. I would need more copper to go fully into the Bronze Age. I need to store wood. So, until next time, if you like what you're watching, subscribe. If not, oh well. Have a nice day. Like, uh, follow me on Twitter, whatever. See you next time.